Well, I do have a question, though, because I feel like here's what happened with me. I ended up going to college like I think I was 23 when I ended up going to uh, the University of Maryland. And so I had already had a few years of drinking under my belt by the time, you know, I had met up with these uh, these young bucks, if you will. And so my attitude on puking had changed. Like it wasn't as much of a party foul as it was in the past. And so I can remember like being in the middle of a party and like, ooh, all right, I'm going to go pull the trigger. And that like being like the, the, you're not supposed to say that. You're not supposed to tell people you're about to go throw up anywhere. I was like, why? Because when I'm done, I'm coming back and I'm going to put down about six more beers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, <clears throat> really under what were, the puking rally. Sorry. Yeah. So, I mean, wh- I mean, no, but I mean, was there ever a time where like you guys had, the, I feel like I educated people on the, uh, the binge drink slash puke slash continue binge drink. Uh, uh, method. <laughs> I educated. And I, I don't know. Go ahead. No, no, but like, so, like, when did you guys finally like get the notion like this is not a party foul anymore? I don't know. There seems like there was a lot of rituals. Like there were, you know, party foul, man. That was like something that like reared its head like in the early two thousands, and like you, there were certain unwritten rules that you weren't allowed to to do, or yeah, you puke, were like kicked out of a party. Puking in the middle of one. <laughs> so, yeah. That's like numero uno. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it was all about it was uh, it was about the the controlled situation of your vomit. Like if you were just vomiting because you lost it and you got a little out of control, yeah, it was time for you to go home. You had to leave the party. But like what you're saying, Mur, I I totally understand. I mean, Wes, we used to do it in circles. Of yeah. So to, like, to answer your question, Mur, we got we got a little earlier on in, in Frostburg, and that like that really solely has to that's all based upon the pledge program. It's like you were going some, you know, the guys who started all that, like two or three of them were in their mid twenties and they basically instilled this, like, you're going to learn how to puke. You're going to learn how to like control your, you know, yep. Yep. Got to vomit. Walk outside. Yeah. Blah! That's always the, that was always kind of the measure. I don't think it was any real life skill, but come to think of it, there wasn't a time in the middle of a party where I was like, <laughs> I legit think it was just uh, it was uh, an evolutionary tactic to drinking kegged Keystone Light by the fucking gallon. Right. Like that's all it was. It was it was an it was an animal adapting to its environment, and that that's what we did. And yeah, and I did I did bring it home, and I talked to a couple. But they were like, "What do you mean? You just throw up?" Like, yeah, just go out there. It's easy, yeah. super easy. Get rid of it. Come back in. Put a mint in there. Keep a mint. <laughs> but see, that's why I think that so many people ended up inadvertently uh, puking in the middle of a party and shaming themselves and attaching a stigma to their name is because everyone was always so afraid to puke. Like it was such this vile thing to have happened that you tried to hold it in and then you tried to fight it off. And the more you fought <laughs> it off, the less likely you were to just go get it done. And then you let it build up thinking it was going to pass. Once you feel it, it ain't passing, buddy. It ain't passing until it passes. I you gotta like make it go. One in a hundred. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll give it the old the old college try of like thirty seconds to maybe sixty seconds of like, all right. Okay. Now I think- now and then go, you know, go go to a restroom or go outside. Yeah. Yeah, think- and that's ruined many a name in the uh the, 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 the young high school and college career. Yeah, I think that's what it is, though. It's uh, it's a young man's uh, metric. You know what I mean? Like in the early goings, you're in high school and you're like early 20s. You're still really learning how to drink. You know what I mean? How what what works for you? What doesn't work for you? What shouldn't you? Who's not touching tequila? Don't give tequila to Ronnie. He's a dick. Like <laughs> you, you're learning all of those things. Right. You know what I mean? And then if later it switches into less embarrassment and more like ah i've learned let me go empty the empty the fucking valve let's open it up and then come back in and we're good to go yeah it's so the more the moral of the story is puke away friends yeah don't be shy 